Smiths of the HQ universe. Welcome to the best moment of my night and yours. This is HQ Words. I am your host, deemed queen of letters, Anna Roisman. Ooh, you can find me here all over social media. And what a fun day we had on social media. Look, I can't get you into college. I can't. But I can get you a little money in your pocket. Huh? Tonight's prize is $1,000. Ooh, that'll buy you some school supplies so you can properly apply to college. Hey, spin the wheel around my face for your letter. Ooh, happy National Pancake Day, everyone. This is actually a giant pancake, and all of these letters are the toppings, okay? I used to love a chocolate chip pancake, but now this seems better. It does. Hey, whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you'll win. So type fast, but keep your cool. You know what I mean? Your first hint is classic game. I don't mean HQ. Type in the letters R, S, and T. This is a game you can really put yourself into. I mean physically. I gave you R, I gave you S, I gave you T. Just be careful that you don't fall. Or else you'll be out. Cause the game is Twister! Twister is the game. 137,642 got it right. 16,627. Must not have heard me. Cause I gave you a lot of letters in Twister. Think about Twister, make sure you use a mint. Right? It's nice for your opponents. Or don't use a mint, and that's pretty good strategy. Hey, wordsmiths, have you heard the word? Thursday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, we have a special game of best-selling books on HQ Words right after the Bookworm HQ Trivia game brought to you by Audible. So don't miss out and just read up all the books until then, okay? It's book night. Also, I gotta wish a happy birthday to JJ if you're still up playing. And we're moving on to puzzle two. If there's one thing I wish I could do, it might be to fly. Cause then I could make plans with this tiny flyer. Who is it? Who's the tiny flyer? They're small, very fast. And they just whiz by when they're out and about. Which, if you think about it, kind of gives them their name. Tiny flyer. Not a big flyer. I'm talking about a hummingbird. Hummingbirds, they fly faster than any other bird and they flap their wings so fast. That's what makes the humming sound. 120,916, got it right. You just whiz through that. 16,975 eliminated on hummingbird. You know what comes and goes as fast as a hummingbird? Fashion trends, babe. Though this has been around for a while, what is this classic fashion item? This is a great piece to wear, to work, out at night. Okay, clearly I'm a fan. I would say it's a staple item for your closet. Right, it's classy, goes with a lot. And the answer is pencil skirt. Here, you wanna see a pencil skirt? Ooh, right below the knee. Hey, who's that? Is that Felicity Hoffman wearing a pencil skirt? Wow, I didn't expect that photo, but that was there. 73,038, got it right. 48,358 eliminated on pencil skirt. You must like, I don't know, a tool skirt, a puffy skirt, not a straight pencil skirt that goes below the knee. But wow, what a coincidence having Felicity Huffman in a pencil skirt tonight, huh? Look, I don't care what she spends her money on getting you to college, as long as she is buying local. This is a place where you can do that. I would say it's cool to go with an open mind or with a plan for what you wanna have in your house. Tell me. Are you cooking dinner tonight? The answer is farmer's market. Ooh, fresh produce from a farmer's market. Mm, 67,934, solve the puzzle. 6,700 eliminated on farmer's market. What's your favorite thing to get at a farmer's market? Mine's gotta be hot apple cider. When they sell apples, they sell apple cider. It's like a dollar. Ooh, it's the best. Try it. 
Great. Now I'm hungry for fresh food from the farmer's market. Though I could also go for this classic combo. Okay. I'm talking about two things that are just meant for each other. Okay? They're great for parties or, you know, just on your bed at night when you're binge watching your favorite TV show. <laughs> what? That got personal. I also, I recommend family sized, no matter how many people are enjoying this classic combo. The answer is hummus and pita! Yeah, it is. Who doesn't love hummus and pita? 55,500 got it right. 12,648. No hummus and pita for you tonight. That's okay. Oh, I had such good hummus and pita the other day. I felt the connection to my Jewish ancestors. Okay, I gotta say, I'm gonna get us a tray of hummus and pita for our after party because you're almost there. You are now halfway through the game, baby. Yeah, you are. Time flies when you're solving puzzles, doesn't it? Just flew by. Time also flies when you're watching a good film. What is this infamous movie title? It's an action thriller. And it's high up on some people's lists of favorite movies. And I gotta say, I just wish that I was in the room when they came up with this title. Because it's funny, it's, it's very literal. And the infamous movie title is Snakes on a Plane! Here you go, here's some snakes. I've had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane! Did he say Monday to Friday plane? Wow, that's a cool version. That was Samuel L. Jackson in Snakes on a Plane. 48,299 solved the puzzle. 8,021 are deplaned. They are no longer on the plane with the snakes. Honestly, I am at the point of winter where I would get on a plane with snakes if it took me to a warm, beautiful beach. Ooh, nothing bad happens there, right? Wait a minute. Type in this beach nuisance. It's not all picture perfect. This could ruin your beach day. So be careful where you go, because it might hurt. You got this, only a few more puzzles. And the beach nuisance is a jellyfish sting. Yeah, that'll hurt. Be careful. They're clear. You could step on a jellyfish. You'll get you'll get jellyfish sting on your foot. 35,520 got it right. 13,425 eliminated. And also, I've heard I've heard of the myth about peeing on a jellyfish sting. I don't know if that's true or not. It, not so much for me. Okay, enough about the jellyfish. <laughs> Let's talk about my favorite subject, me. Okay. Hey, word nerds. How do I look? I don't mean type this in the chat, uh-uh. I mean solve it. How do I look? This should be a no-brainer, or else we're not friends anymore. No, I'm kidding. You're entitled to your own opinion. But I am right here. That's so nice of you! You told me I'm a sight for sore eyes? Stop! I mean, don't stop. Keep going. What else? What else? 20,789. I love you. I love you. I love you. 16,391. I guess you don't think I look like a sight for sore eyes tonight. That's okay. Maybe my outfit tomorrow night will win you over. Okay, like any proper human conversation, of course. That was so rude. Now that we've talked about me, I've got a nosy question for you. This is fun. We're really getting to know each other tonight. This is something you don't come out and say in just any conversation, right? Unless you're very close with the person you ask this to. I mean, very close. And my nosy question is, boxers or briefs? Which is it gonna be? Boxers or briefs? 17,416 got it right. 5,809 eliminated. And you know I'm gonna ask the chat, boxers or briefs? What do you prefer, boxers or briefs? I feel like I'm gonna pick both. Maybe boxers and briefs together is the way to roll. <laughs> okay, soon you'll be able to wear both because you'll buy all of them because you just made it to the final puzzle.
We started tonight's game with over 150,000 hungry wordies. And here we are at the finish line. Who goes home? Who will win a piece of the prize? And who can tell me this tiny canine breed? I said it in a voice as if I'm looking at it. I love tiny canines of all breeds. But this one, oh, so cute. And it's not a toy poodle. That's what I have. It's not that. For the win. And the final answer is a long coat chihuahua. Oh, here you go. What are we going to name it? You know what I'm going to name that long coat chihuahua? I'm going to name it um, Mr. Winner because we've got 12,527 winners in tonight's HQ Words game. You're all getting puppies tonight. If you want, you can buy a puppy. Ooh, let's take a look at our fastest players in tonight's game. Who's going home with a long coat chihuahua? In first place, we've got Moonster playing from the moon for $100. In second place, Chad 1M winning $75. Chad, are you buying me a dog yet? I sure hope so. And in third place, Walter Humet just won $50. That is a lot of money you're going home with. That's so nice. That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the winners, all of our other winners, and our latest players who joined the Word Nerd fam tonight. I would love to stay and chat, but I gotta go pick up some hummus and pita for a game night. They mentioned Twister. Hot tip, don't play that game in a pencil skirt. We'll be rough. I am Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media, and please tell me on Instagram that all of my pics are a sight for sore eyes. Okay, honey, it grows the ego. I will see you back here tomorrow night and every night for more HQ Words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Keep it classy. Go watch Snakes on a Plane. Good night, word nerds. Love you. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.